Quick Takes with Ed Masterson. A month or two ago, you said, uh, I want to put, I want to try some uh, wood floor in here. And uh, so I'm curious, you took that, you took them out, but what was the, what was the outcome of that? I'm curious. I mean, it's funny. So, um, you know, I, when I built that room, my objective was to create a uh, reference caliber, you know, listening room that would give me a place to bring gear into in a consistent, you know, uh, acoustic environment and really allow me to hear what each component did, you know, differently or better, or maybe worse. Um, I designed it for theater. It was a mix of diffusion absorption. Um, that's a little bit of a compromise for two channel because uh, with only two speakers, the amount of absorption in the room changes in my experience. The um, minute you mix it with multi, we're going to add more absorption. Uh, and that has a little bit of a negative effect on the two channel. Uh, so, uh, but um, recently I started playing with the flooring. That's something you noticed. You probably didn't notice the fact that I've had uh, uh, diffuser pieces that have moved around the room kind of regularly into different positions. You probably didn't notice. They moved. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm always kind of playing with the acoustics of the room, trying to find, you know, the uh, you know a, a new balance that I like. You know, right. Really trying to address the two-channel difference. You know, trying to make it more like out here because this room has a a much more vibrant, open kind of a sound to it. And I want a little bit of that back in that room. It's a little bit dark, yeah. but uh, you know, it came out great. I did. I put in. I, I was working under an existing roof line when I built it. So I had a lot of constraints, but you know, I analyzed the space, talked to the contractor, had them build to specific dimensions, which according to my modal calculators would give me a good distribution of base. Um, I definitely have some issues associated with the dimensions, which most rooms do have, but uh, it sounds good. And uh, you know, when I first started, yeah, it's a great room. But when I first did it. I had my wife uh, running her photography business out of here, you know, and she was in here a lot and a lot of customers. So I wanted to be able to demonstrate it and not affect, you know, what she had going on out here. So yeah. as part of the design, uh, I did an isolation package on it to, you know, limit the amount of sound that goes in and out of that room. And uh, part of it was for me. I didn't want to be bothered by the noises going on out here. <laughs> It's a little selfish, but then also I knew that my wife wanted to use this area, so if, if I could make it quiet enough, it wouldn't disturb her. Sure enough, we, we achieved that, you know. And fairly simple construction, you know. The acoustic materials are a little pricey, and the the process is more involving, so it involves more labor, you know. But uh, well worth it to isolate. And people hear it; it's like it's a different space, you know. When you close that door, when everything's off, and you walk in and sit in the chair in the middle of that room, it's also a little eerie. It's so quiet. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching.